Hi, I'm Sabin Yaakov. This is a riddle on the inductance of an interrupted switching loop. So here's the case. We are talking about the boost converter I'm showing here. This is the main inductor, the diode output section. This is the driver, the gate driver. And I'm also showing some stray inductances in the gate loop, gate drive loop and here at the diode section. Now, we know that inductances are bad. Stray inductances do a lot of harm. In the case of the drive, gate drive loop here, if there is inductance, then it could cause some oscillation. Also, it will delay the rise time of the current. So we'd like to reduce this uh, stray inductance as much as we can. And this is done by reducing the area here because the area will determine the magnitude or the size or the value of this uh, inductance. So this is the case in which we have a loop, which is a continuous loop, you might say, uninterrupted. There is a current going during the on one direction and during the off the other direction. So this is a rather simple case. Now I'm turning to another case, which is this strain inductance. I'm showing here first the on state in which the transistor is conducting, the current is passing through the main inductor, and then during the turn off, this current will sort of push itself into this strain inductance and the dial. So this will be now the loop here of the current. Now, in this case, we're going to have a step current at the inductor, in this stray inductors, because before that there is no current, no connection. I've taken off the diode just to indicate that it's not conducting. And here, all of a sudden, we have this step. And obviously, with this DIDT, depending on the rise time, we are going to have some disturbance, uh, voltage spikes, which are, of course, uh, causing harm and EMI and some other problem. So this will be the case when we have the current pushing into this inductance. But then we are going to have also another problem during the reverse recovery. This is during the turn on situation. We have a current flowing through the diode in the reverse direction. And then once this current stops, then again, we're going to have a step here and this would again cause, of course, uh, voltage disturbances, uh, spikes, which are undesirable. So there is a difference between this loop and this loop. Here, this is an uninterrupted switching loop. We have current going one direction, the other direction, but here we have interruption. We have a current passing through the diode, and then all of a sudden it'll stop. So there is a really big difference between these two situations. And the questions are, how can the disturbances due to the current steps in LS be reduced? That is, what can we do in order to reduce the disturbance? But more importantly, the other question is, if this can be done, how is this remedy working? That is, what is the physics behind it? How does it really operate? And how does it really reduce the disturbance due to the steps of the current at turn on and turn off? I'll be happy to read your answers. I'll do my best to respond as much as I can if there are too many answers. And then I'll give my answer on a forthcoming YouTube video and I thank you very much for your attention.